Carlos Alcaraz versus Stefano Tsitsipas. It's the first men's quarterfinal for the French Open for 2024. And both guys have been very good to get to this stage. Tsitsipas entered the tournament as the number nine seed and will take on Fucevic in the first round. And after a close first set, would get through in straights. 7 6 6 4 6 1. In the second round, he'd take on Altmaier, who had taken out Sinner last year in a huge shock. And after dropping the third set, Tsitsipas would get through in four. 6 3 6 2 6 7 6 4. In the third round, he'd take on Zhong, who'd proven that he can play on clay this season. There's no problem with Steph getting through in straights. 6 3 6 3 6 1. In the fourth, Fourth round, he'd take on Anaudi, who had just beaten Rublev in the previous round. And after going down a set and a break, Sitsipas would fight through to win 3 6 7 6 6 2 6 2 to advance to the quarterfinals. Alcaraz entered the tournament as the number three seed. We'll take on the lucky loser Wolf in the first round, which is no problem getting through in straights. 6 1 6 2 6 1. In the second round, he'd take on the qualifier De Jong, who'd beaten Draper in five sets in the first round. And after dropping the third set, Alcaraz would go on to win 6 3 6 4 2 6 6 2. In the third round, he'd take on Korda, the 27th seed, who he'd had some battles with in the past. And after a close second set, Alcaraz would get through in straights. 6-4, 7 6, 6 3, to get to the fourth round. In the fourth round, he'd take on Ojeli Asim, the 21st seed, who had just beaten Shelton in the previous round. And after being up a set and a break, FAA would get injured, allowing Carlos to win easily. 6-3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6 1, to advance to the quarterfinals. These guys have played five times before, with Alcaraz winning all five matches, including a match here last year in the exact same stage of the quarterfinals, with a third set going close to a tiebreak, but Alcaraz eventually getting through in straights. So Sidney is going to do a hell of a lot if he's going to make it even competitive in this match, because Really, for the best part of two years, it's all been Alcaraz when these guys play. If Sissipas is going to win this one, he needs to do something different. He needs to hit the backhand down the line as something a little bit unpredictable and really come to the net and, I guess, drop shot. I mean, do so many different things. He's also going to serve well. If he doesn't serve well, Alcaraz is just going to take over the baseline and he's never going to win points. So he's got to serve well and he's got to really just be unpredictable and maybe be outside the box a little bit to give uh, Alcaraz something different to look at. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he just needs to keep doing what he's doing. He knows how to beat Steph. He's done it five times in a row. He's never really looked in trouble except for their first match match became Alcaraz so he's just going to be good with his game and just do what he does serve well is obviously important and just use the variety that he always does to beat everybody really interesting matchup every time they play you just think it's a foregone conclusion and, and I think the same thing's going to happen here I think Alcaraz wins I'm going to give Steph a set though I think it's a four set at Alcaraz in this one but let me know in the comments below who's making the semis